Hey what's up guys? Mike here from my software advisor. In today's video, I am going to take SiteJet for a spin. Before we dive in, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon to be notified for our next videos. Let's get started. We'll log in as an agency partner and you will notice on your dashboard you have all the things you will need to manage your customers. Starting from to-dos to messages from clients, everything is here. Let's try to create a website from a template. SiteJet has got a lot of great looking templates, but I think it is better to start with a wireframe template. Let's check out these templates by category. Once you've got your template picked, it is time to customize the template using SiteJet's editor. It might take some time to load the website editor. SiteJet has an onboarding guide to let you quickly get up to speed with their website editor. Let's try to follow it step by step to familiarize ourselves with the SiteJet web editor. Like other website editors, you can right-click on an element or double-click on it to change its properties. Let's try to change the logo image here, but later on you can manage the site's logo from the settings page. You can easily manage the entire website's theme like colors, fonts, and other styles from SiteJet's built-in theme editor. Play around with the primary and secondary colors. You can always undo actions right inside the SiteJet editor.
during editing of certain elements which requires uploading of images. I noticed some delays in the editor's responses. I noticed the images were uploaded and changed correspondingly as expected. SiteJets got you covered on everything needed for your website like doing regular backups, SEO, languages, redirections, and more.
I tried making multi-language variations of the pages, but it seems everything is needed to be manually done so I skipped this part. If you want to do some hand coding, you can easily do that right inside SiteJet's custom code editor. To enable the blog extension of SiteJet, just create a new page. Head on over to the Add Extensions in the menu. Just drag and drop the blog extension into the canvas and wait for it to load.
SiteJet has an active community of designers, so you can easily seek help from fellow SiteJet users. There's a ton of other tools available inside SiteJet, which will probably take us longer than this video. If you get into issues, just chat with their friendly support team. If you like SiteJet, be sure to check out their deal in the description below. Thank you for watching.